Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Urmisha Patel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to add a reset filter button to our dashboard. But before we start creating that button, let's understand what exactly this current dashboard is all about and how this reset filter is helping you in making this user friendly and more convenient dashboard. So here this uh, for this dashboard, I have used a sample superstore data set based on which this whole dashboard has been created. And it's on the shipping based, a shipment based, where I have put on time shipment trends, days to the ship by product for that quarter of that year. But if you see, I have given users some flexibility on choosing all these uh, values from the filters. So here I've given four different filters like order year, order quarter, region and ship mode. So now see what this reset filter button will make the difference. So as we know that a normal quick filter or any dimension filter, once you select uh, you and if you have put this as a dynamic once on selection uh, it will make a difference in your view the dashboard will change uh, respectively so here let's say uh, i'm just unchecking and making this uh, specific things like standard classes like that but here for making all these changes i have to adjust uh, the order year order quarter region and every other time so it becomes very difficult or maybe a tedious for a user to, you know, change all these filters one by one. Or let's say if you put more than this, like right now it's a four filters, but more than that filters, if you are giving to the user, then it's very difficult uh, for the user to adjust and make changes in every other filter. So what this reset button will do is once you click, it will move back to that normal position. So right now, if you see the ship mode, whatever you made a change is again back to that, uh, the one which is at the first view, which means the default view, which was having the ship mode as all. So by this, you can say that it helps the user to, you know, it minimalize the user's, uh, you know, selection for the filter or maybe the job, the tedious job that I was saying. So better you uh, make or design such kind of a layout that are more user friendly and make the user comfortable and convenient for them. So let's uh, create this reset button in our another uh, order detail dashboard, which is uh, some where you can see again, it's based on sample superstore data set where you can see this six different uh, filters are here, like region, order date, state and province, city, category and segment. So when you have six different uh, filters, it's better you give a reset filter button so it they can you know adjust and it makes the whole lot uh, layout a very convenient and more user friendly. So let's start creating that in few simple steps. To create this, go to your new worksheet click on that and now here go to the analysis click on create calculated field I'll name this reset filter button uh, as reset field and here I'll simply name it as reset so nothing big we are just making a button view for that just so click on apply and ok you will see this reset field is ready now simply drag this field and put it on the text. You will see the reset is ready. It's simply a text field. Now right click over here, go to the format and here in this uh, shading uh, worksheet will change and make it like sim simply a little gray. Okay, so this whole lot difference. So now the overall sheet is now become the gray. So you will see the background of this reset becomes gray. And then again, right click. Um, uh, and yes, go to the format again and in this worksheet right now it's a gray will change and make it as white and make it bold again change the size of that and I'll put it like 11 somewhere. Okay, so that's how our button is ready. If you want to add a border over it, you can add it as per your choice. But right now I want to keep this as it is. Now what? Now the next is we'll go to that order sheet. Uh, uh, sorry, the uh, order details workbook, wherever you want to place this. Now, simply this was a sheet 30, but I'll, let me rename it and make it reset. Okay, so just simply I'm um, renaming the sheet. So it's become easy now. So this is our reset uh, sheet worksheet and we will drag simply and put it somewhere over here. Let's say just I'm adjusting right now, like drag it and place it somewhere over here. 
again go to this more option and uncheck this title so we don't want the title out here adjust the size here a little bit just arrange it I will place it somewhere over here let's see we'll place it over here and now again go to this more option and here for the fit I'll change and make it entire view so it will adjust by itself again um, yeah okay now go okay we'll go back to this sheet and what next we'll do is right click over here go to the format and from here uh, alignment I will make this alignment as in the middle okay again in this and now if you see oops, this is on the audit now it's ad adjusted because right earlier it was a left alignment now it's become in the middle so it's now um, it's good that it's just in the middle of that box you will see this is our reset button but if you click there it does not make any difference out here but how to uh, you know uh, make it dynamic for that simply you need to go to the dashboard and here go to the actions and here click on add actions again it should be a filter so filter action and now in this reset the source sheet is the reset okay so uncheck rest of them and here on the run action just make it select for this we'll say reset filter button all right so this uh, this is what uh, we name it for the filter action reset and uh, the target sheet would be the product detail sheet so the changes has to be over here and here in clearing the selection it will show you show all values instead of keeping the filtered value and for um, if you see so here is a region state province city category segment and order date so these are our filters so how you can make uh, this filter so how this changes uh, on this filter just click on selected filter and from this from this uh, downward arrow just click on that it's a list you just have to select whichever the uh, you know uh, the reset filter will impact or the effect should be seen on those um, filter uh, fields so here as we know there is a category and segment so let's say I just select only the um okay i'll select over from here uh segment and there's one more like region as well we have the regions right the, there's a region so okay select the region then there is one more says the state and province right state and province so i'm just selecting right now only three of them uh, you can select all of them as per your choice but right now i'll just give it a three of these selection and just click on okay and okay and now let's see the magic if in this region I just want to have uh, the east in part only rest of them I'll uncheck you will see the difference right now if I stay for the state I from this area I just want only um, Maryland Delaware and Pennsylvania okay so these are the three states that I've selected and what are those uh, segment right we selected for the segments and here uh, we just simply need only the corporate okay now the one which we haven't choose in our filter so the one let's say the category so we I want just only for the technology rest of them I'll uncheck now what if you click on this reset now see the difference you will see the region is now back to the normal state province is back to the normal segment is again back to the normal which says select all but if you see the category we haven't selected so there is no change or there nothing as a reset has been happened on this category field so that's what the whole lot make a difference so the point is reset filter will reset and put all the values back to their uh, the one which is exactly at the first or at the initial or i would say the one uh, which were default the position of that and it again depend completely on whatever in the dashboard filter action that you have put on so if i again show you what exactly what actions we have defined there so that what we named it is reset filter button now go to the edit and you will see 
we applied the source sheet is applied on the reset sheet that we have just created and the action was on just on selection but the target should be on this product detail the detail field which is right now the view which is showing that's a detailed sheet but on clearing once you select that sheet what happens is it should show all the values all the values should be shown and what uh, and the filter are the selected field if you see the all then whatever the fields it will be selected all as default but right as in selected fields you can choose a specific you can choose all of them it depends again on you but it says a selected field so that's how in a simple few steps you can have your reset filter button which gives an edge and it gives uh, edge to your own design layout and give it a, a overall impact on user experience so definitely try this and i would uh, highly recommend to add in your dashboard design layout or if you haven't put so far then uh, you know suggest your uh, uh, your product owner or manager whosoever is you are working and delivering this uh, it helps in overall user experience i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such video till then happy learning